Hello out there! Today I would like to share my experience with the latest software updates leading up to the battery replacement um, and battery recall that Hyundai is doing. Hyundai hasn't been very communicative about this and even dealers don't know what's happening, so let's have a look at it. So, as mentioned, there are several open recalls. Um, just a few days ago I had five open recalls when I logged into the owner, owner's website on Hyundai. Um, I know that a lot of people have the same issue, so let's look at what, uh, what those recalls are. Uh, as mentioned, it's five recalls. Um, there's a couple easy ones. Uh, one of them actually is the charger cable cover protection thing. Um, it is uh, just a plastic cover that goes around the charger and it's actually really nice so the charger get, doesn't get damaged. Uh, the second one is a pretty easy thing as well. You can do it yourself. Uh, it's just setting the maximum charge limit to 80% for DC and for AC charging. Obviously the dealer needs to verify that and uh, once that is taken care of you will get a $200 um, gift card from Hyundai uh, in the mail. Uh, that should take about two weeks to get to you. So now um, the third recall is the actual battery replacement itself. Obviously that hasn't been done yet. Um, that will take a while and uh, nobody really knows when and how exactly that's going to work. So we'll leave that off for now. Um, so there's two software updates left. One is called the VCULDC software update 21-01-019H and in parentheses uh, T6C. And the other one is an inspection and BMS update 21-01-008H or and in parentheses T5V. We already talked about the cable cover that is actually really nice. Um, the software setting in the car setting it to 80% is pretty easy as well. You just go into the entertainment system set it to 80% maximum charge for AC and DC and you're good to go. You go to the dealer show them that it's done they will they will document it and um, you should get a $200 gift card also uh, Hyundai limited the charge to 80% through the Blue Link app that means you cannot set the charge limit higher than 80% in the Blue Link app however in the car itself you can still set it higher uh, up to 90 and 100% uh, if you have that long drive and you really need the range, uh, like I do once in a while, um, it is no problem to actually charge higher as well. So, um, on the day I had the appointment for the software updates, which was just two days ago, it was on Monday, um, I dropped the car off. Um, I dropped it off with a state of charge um, for the BMS at 67.5% and the SOC state of charge on the display 69.5%. Um, I also documented the uh, cumulative energy charged and discharged numbers. Those were 1548.3 kilowatt hours and 1485.4 kilowatt hours. However, those have been reset during the software update. After the update, I had a, a state of charge for the BMS of 59.0% and a state of charge for the display 60.5%. The cumulative energy charged and discharged were 1.4 kilowatt hours and 1.8 kilowatt hours. Uh, that is obviously very weird. Uh, about 10%, uh, 9.5 or 9% actually, uh, just disappeared into nowhere. I have no idea how that happened. Um, so I was actually very worried uh, right after the update. Uh, so I did a drive uh, immediately after that and um, 
documented the numbers for that drive to be able to calculate the usable um, energy for the battery. So my drive was 24.8 miles and after that drive I had, I had a uh, state of charge and the BMS of 47.5 and displayed 49.0%. Uh, cumulative energy charged 3.2 kilowatt hours and discharged 11.1 kilowatt hours. So, um, like I said, to make sure I didn't lose any battery capacity, let's look at these numbers um, and calculate the battery size itself. So I drove 24.8 miles, I used 9.3 kilowatt hours, I regenerated 1.8 kilowatt hours, I started at 60.5% state of charge and I ended at 40 nine percent state of charge so to calculate that uh, 9.3 minus 1.8 is 7.5 kilowatt hours uh, used that equals uh, 60.5 minus 49 that's 11.5 percent state of charge so uh, if we equal 7.5 kilowatt hours um, with 11.5 percent which is 7.5 divided by 11.5 and then times 100 that will give us 65.2 kilowatt hours for 100 percent charge of the battery so i guess that's a good thing because that means the battery fully charged to 100 percent will still have 64 kilowatt hours so um it will you will not lose any battery um with those software updates that have to be done before the actual battery exchange. The only thing I really do not understand is how come that after the software update I lost 9% state of charge. Um, and that is like 5 kilowatt hours. I don't know where those went. Uh, maybe there's something with uh, battery realignment uh, between the cells uh, that happened there um, I the update took about two hours so um, I don't know if something was running the whole time or whatever but the conclusion is that I still have four, 64 kilowatt hours available for driving at 100% state of charge it seems Hyundai is aware that some people are relying on the range of the car so the maximum state of charge is not limited at all other than that it's recommended to a maximum of 80 percent it cannot be set higher than 80 percent in the blue link app but inside the car on the infotainment screen it can still be set higher to 90 and 100 percent so if you need it for a longer drive it can be overridden it is not recommended to do so um, and it's advisable to leave it um, leave the car outside if you have to charge higher than 80 percent so i hope this video was helpful for you guys uh, and answers at least some of your questions um, i will follow up to this video once i get the gift card and uh, to see what kind of gift card it actually is. Um, I will try and see if I can get to a DC quick charger to check the uh, charging curve, if there was any changes to that. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me because the next DC charger is quite a bit away, about 80 miles, and um, I'm gonna be working the next week. So other than that, I hope you liked the video. Please click like and subscribe right down here. Um, and I hope I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and bye.